In the subway, the signal system controls train traffic. The goal of the signal system is to keep trains a safe distance apart from each other, while moving as many trains through the system as possible. We're proud that the subway is very safe, but we know it could be speedier. Thanks to our new speed unit, it soon will be. In the New York City subway, there are many types of signals in use. Automatic signals maintain safe distance between trains. Home signals control switch points, and grade time signals enforce speed limits, automatically stopping any train that exceeds the posted speed limit. Grade time signals can stop a train using a device called a stop arm, which rises when the signal is red and trips a passing train's emergency brake. When this happens, the train crew must keep the train where it's stopped and conduct an investigation. This can cause serious delays, so train operators are very cautious when it comes to signals and speed limits. In the early 1990s, there were a series of fatal subway crashes caused by trains going too fast. In response, more grade time signals were installed and speeds were lowered throughout the system. This eliminated speed-related incidents and made the system safer. But it also slowed down trains and added more time to everyone's trips. Making things worse, wear and tear has caused a number of signals to clear too slowly, forcing train operators to become even more cautious when approaching them. In many areas, trains were going as slow as five miles per hour. By 2018, there were so many of these slow speed areas that they were a significant cause of delays and crowding. As part of the fast forward plan to modernize the transit system, the speed unit was created to review and update train speeds across the subway system. The unit has found that in many places, speeds can safely be increased from their 1990s limits thanks to improvements in car design and track geometry. The speed unit is also testing all 2000 grade time signals to ensure that they clear at the posted speed limit. When they find a signal that clears too slowly, they flag it for recalibration. The first sets of speed limits were changed in December 2018 along the N and R lines in Brooklyn, with more to come system-wide in early 2019. We hope customers will soon start to notice that their rides are a little faster. Across the entire system, lots of these small speed-ups should result in better service everywhere.